and welcome to Learn DaVinci Resolve. In this video, we're going to show you how to do softer shadows on your 3D elements. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. All right, a lot of you really enjoyed the tutorials I've done on animating the lights and doing 3D text with color shading and things. But the number one question I've got back is how do I make the shadows softer? And it's just something I, I didn't show because I, I, I just didn't show it and that it was apparently a little difficult to figure out because you have to know that the feature is there in order to be able to uh, play with it. So what we're going to do, I mean, basically when you're in the, uh, on the spotlight, we got the spotlight here and I'm going to put that in. So here's my 3d scene. I've got my spotlight and you know, we've played with the decay and cone angles and penumbras and drop offs, but still we always end up with this really hard edged shadow underneath it. And it, it maybe that just doesn't look as realistic as it should. Well, if you have your spotlight selected, because remember the spotlight is the only one that does shadows or throws shadows, we come down underneath here to this shadows section. And under here, we can enable the shadows, you know, turn them off, turn them on, change the shadow color if we want to, which would be kind of weird if we're throwing a, a shadow light on there. But let's throw the, uh, let's make it dark so we can really see the effect of it. And yeah, that just doesn't look right. So there's some different settings we can play with down here. There's density, and this is basically how dense the shadow is. So it goes from a very soft to very hard, and that's definitely not what you're looking for, right? I mean, it's kind of how thick the shadow is. You have your shadow map, and most of the time you don't even really see much of a difference anywhere. So let's kind of move this one up slowly. And it just doesn't seem to do it. So that's not going to be it, right? Our shadow map proxy, multiplicative bias, additive bias, forget about all those. Let's come down here to softness. And if we go to softness, it is going to be on none, which Exactly. That's what it looks like. If we go and, oops, so if we go to, there we go, none. If we go to constant, we now have a constant slider here. So I can start adjusting the softness value and make it as hard or as soft as I want. If you take it all the way to the edge, you're not even going to see it. I mean, it'll pretty much just blend right in, but I kind of like it. Uh, I want to see some of the shape a little bit more, maybe a little bit more too much. So there, so that's how you're going to make your shadows softer. So it's pretty simple. Just, uh, again, make sure that you have your spotlight on your, on your render that you have your shadows and lighting turned on and on your 3d scenes that you have, uh, let's see if we go to our merge node here, you go to your 3d options, make sure you have your lighting and shadows turned on so you can see how it's coming together. Let's go to our render node and our media out, make sure everything's looking good. And then spotlight shadows and adjust the softness value. And that will get it looking a lot more realistic from in terms of how a real shadow would look. So hopefully this has helped you out. And if you like these videos, 
be sure and like the video and hit subscribe. Click on the bell icon to get notified every time there's a new video. Thanks for watching. I will catch you all next time. Be sure and keep sending me those suggestions, comments, feedbacks, questions, and things so that I can create the videos that you are looking for. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.